well, if the SEC really wants to stay out of this and the Big Ten only wants this brand or this brand, and UNC's right. the bell of the ball, maybe Virginia to the SEC, is there a way in which Clemson gets out left out altogether? Yeah, the, the math works that way. And it all is hinged on, I think they were hoping that they could hitch a ride with Florida State and go as a pair. I yeah. know that there was talks about them negotiating together in the spring and in early summer to try to get that exit. You know, more buying power, more control yeah. if they're if they're together. Um, and Miami has hinted that maybe they wanted part of that or Virginia or you name it in the ACC. They all right. want out. Um, but as of this second, Clemson does not, the music's going and there's nowhere for him to sit down when the music stops. Nobody is clamoring to pick up Clemson. And so, yeah, is it a possibility that they could go to the big 12? Look, here's the story. Anybody that's watching this right now, if you're an ACC fan, uh, don't take it personal. This already happened. You're going through the, the same throws that the big, 12 and the Pac-12, they went through this already. You're the third conference, the last conference to go through this. And so because of that, you're feeling the most pain. So you're going to have those times where you get uh, in your news alert, you're going to hear the ACC is blowing up and you haven't heard anything about your school going anywhere. Those are real. Those are real concerns. And you guys are going to have to make a decision. Do you reconstitute your, your brand together, hoping that you can get enough AAC school Maybe you pick up the service academy, something like that to make your yourself more valuable. Um, or are you going to become a 20, 25 million dollar a year school? And, and at the end of the day, that means you've got people running for the covers and those schools would be calling the Big 12, which right now is the only other unattached. Uh, the Big 12, the reason it's a destination for Miami or Clemson, even yeah. though they don't want to hear it, is because the SEC and the, H- or the Big 10 don't want to get any bigger. The Big 10 has already said they only want to go to 20. That's it. So they're not coming back to get Utah. They're not coming back to get any uh, Stanford, for that matter. The only way Stanford goes to the Big Big Ten is if Notre Dame goes. So it's like this musical, uh, this game of musical chairs. Everybody has to go somewhere. And right now, the only one that's an open invite is the Big 12. And it, it, Miami and Clemson might not have a choice. Is there a realm in which the Big 12 decides to go 20 or bigger over the course of the next year? Because remember, in the summer, Brett Yormark had kind of said, hey, we're, we're, we're comfortable. We're happy with what we have. Then over the course of the last couple of weeks, he said, hey, I'm pro consolidation. And Charlie Baker is the president for a reason. He's doing his job, which those comments seem a little more pro pro expansion in this respect with the way the ACC is turning. Do you believe Brett Yormark will be on the offensive here, whereas this may just fall in his lap? Well, I think he's going to fall in his lap. The yeah. question whether he goes up to uh, – I right now, the number I think he stays at is 20. Uh, yeah. You get bigger than 16, it gets ungainly already. Uh, uh, going for more, you could – there's some ways that you can break numbers out. I've seen some things that say if it's 21, you could go three divisions of seven, all this other nonsense. Mm-hmm. In my opinion – uh, I think that the most he wants to go to, for right today is 20 unless, and this is the caveat, the ACC does go boom and the and ESPN and Fox tell him if you pick up Clemson, you pick up uh, Miami, just name a two, uh, and then maybe you pick up Virginia Tech and Pitt. If yeah. you were able to get for those four schools, will they be able to renegotiate and maybe increase what their dollar amount is? Right now, the only pro rata is 32, right? Yeah. But if you had Clemson and Miami, you come in with, with a pit and a Virginia Tech, what does your value go up to? And I would argue that it could go up considerably. I would say each school could potentially bring an extra million or two million per school to each uh, campus in the Big 12. That's very attractive. Yep. Going to 24, you're starting. I think people are, that are talking 24 are kind of desperate. They're hoping they have a landing spot. Uh, but right now, it's it's tough to get past 16. With that, too, if you look at a Boston College, a Syracuse here, those are not those are not teams you're sticking your neck out for. This is a this is a conference, not an orphanage. We've had that exactly, conversation exactly on the show. Right. Yep. Is there a is there a Washington State, Oregon State scenario for a couple of these ACC teams that at the end of this will probably look up and not have a home? Yeah, I think so. 
Uh, I, and I was wrong in the summer. I thought for sure that Washington State and Oregon State over a period of months, especially mm-hmm. once it was figured out, basically basically everybody knows where that lawsuit's going to end up. You know, there's some news today that they're they're now pushing back on di- dis- dispersals of money to individual yeah. schools on a quarterly basis and all this nonsense. At the end of the day, I was surprised they didn't get invited. And now that we're three months past and I'm like, I think, your marks lock them down. I think he only wants Eastern schools. And that's why I think four are very, uh, you know, if, if Miami and uh, Clemson aren't available, then you're going to get Virginia tech Pitt, uh, probably North Carolina state and Louisville. Yeah. And that's yeah. still a great four. Now that's not enough. Those, those don't bring you enough uh, brand bling to increase your amount, but it'll probably keep the same pro rata. So at the very least, it, it'd be a strong program, uh, a strong conference. You have some good schools in it that has staying power. Uh, but at that point, then the ACC, as long as Notre Dame uh, wants to stay independent, the ACC will be around. To build a thesis on it to Mafia, before we jump into a little more on the Washington State, Oregon State scenario for Clemson and Miami to go to the Big 12, it's going to take the SEC and the Big 10 saying no. And that's where you think both of those conferences lie right now. I do at this point. Yeah. Uh, the only two, the, the only things that I would be seeing immediate move for is if North Carolina and Florida state could negotiate an entrance, maybe at a half rate, like mm-hmm. Washington, and Oregon got, then they would be in the big 10 and then they would, you know, those financials would work out over time. Other than that, I just don't see the sec wanting to get any bigger. Uh, they know they're the, the top of the heap. Yeah. And why make it more difficult for your own guys to get into the playoff? Because that's what this is all about, is the more schools you add to your conference, it doesn't always make the path easier to get to the end goal just because you have more teams in the conference. So I I think staying smaller is what makes SEC unique. And they might only stay at 16. They go to 18 or something, but it's certainly not going to go past 20. Coming up, let's talk Washington State, Oregon State, the Pac-2 and that lawsuit that you mentioned, Mafia. But first, we'll hear from our friends at FanDuel here on Locked On Big 12, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Today's show is brought to you by FanDuel. It is where I go for money. Stop. You just you say, look, I think that this team's going to win and this team's going to win. You put it into FanDuel and bam, money. As the weather gets colder, the NFL offers stay hot at FanDuel. Right now, new customers get $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 money line bet. Big call basketball is also available there. You can bet on the best conference in America at FanDuel. You get $150. Bucks. Don't, don't look over that. $150 bucks if your team wins on a money line bet. Look, you see that uh, Oklahoma it, basketball is, is a five point favorite this week. They're two, minus 230 on the money line. You just put. Five bucks on it. Bam. 150 bucks. See, it's that it needs it there in free play. The app is easy to use. Spreads, player props, over-unders, and more. Go to FanDuel.com slash locked on. Kick off the NFL season. FanDuel, official partner of the NFL. 